Hey everybody, I am so excited to show you guys this new product. I just got it in. Um, it just came. I just opened it, but I was like, oh, I should do a reveal. So I did I'm doing a reveal of these new cups. I want you guys to see. Let me see if I can switch this camera around. Well, no, it don't look like I can. So I opened up the box already. So I want you guys to see something. So it's a cup. It's a new tumbler. It's a new tumbler. So here they are. So they are um, like, you know, the snow globe ones. I, I had one that was acrylic, but the good thing about this, this is stainless steel, double wall, just like the other one. The only thing is I'm about to do a design, which I'm just gonna come back and do the design. Uh, let me try to take it off with one hand. So I want you guys to see, I think it's double wall. It don't sort of feel like double wall. It feel like a long, it feel like it's just stainless steel. I don't think it's it's not double wall because I guess this is gonna make it a double wall. So I don't know how good it is if it's the same uh, as far as the way it was when um, the other ones, the other twenty ounces that keep your drink cold. Because I know my twenty ounces that I have now, it keeps my drink cold. So but I think because it's stainless steel, it's still gonna drink, keep your um, your drink cold or hot, whichever one. Uh, Cause I know I can keep my ice in my other cup like all day, and it don't never melt, or uh, it melt later, you know. So the good thing about this, they are they do have the um, acrylic. This is acrylic, so of course the plastic you can't uh, sublimate on, but the white you can. It have a hole at the bottom, so you could add like uh, you could do that snow globe effect. I got one around here somewhere, so I can show you guys what you can do with it. But what I'm going to do is design it. I'll probably make this a Valentine's theme because all my Valentine's stuff about to start coming in. So I would think I'm going to make it a Valentine's theme. And it got the same kind of top that we the other one have. So give me a minute. I'm going to come back with a design of this one. And I'm going to also see if it can fit in my tumbler press because it's so much skinnier than the other one. So I'll see if I can get it tight enough to fit in my tumbler press. But if not, I have an oven. So I'm just going to put it in the convection, the convection of oven. So, give me a second. I'll be back. I just decided on this little simple design, which is just my daughter's name. Hope she don't steal the cup because I want to put it as my showroom, uh, on, on the showroom floor. And then just a little, uh, little truck with the hearts and then just say, love you. So, I'm about to print this out and then I'm going to sublimate it. I did find that I have to sublimate in the oven and not on the press. The press is too, it don't get tight enough. So, Anything about sublimation you need to know is like if you don't have pressure, you're not gonna have a good image. So I will have to wrap this up like I like I used to do back in the old days. I wrap it up um, and then uh, sublimate it in the oven. Let me show you guys the measurements on here so you'll know. It's not the same as a uh, regular twenty ounce. So just to let you know, it's not the regular size. But the image size is, I got 7.75 by 7.5. So, I do give myself an extra, like, wiggle room, So I, and I just cut it later. So, these are my measurements. So, it's all wrapped up, but I did want to show you guys that it cannot fit. I tightened up the uh, the uh, heat press. Now, this was the one that's not the, that don't go up to 30 ounce. This is the one that go from, you know, just the 20 ounce. And I tightened up, tightened up, because I normally could tighten it up with the baby bottles, and I get it tight enough, but it was able to slide right out, which means I can't do it. So, right now, I'm waiting on my my um, oven to heat up. It's on, but it's not heating up, so I'm waiting on that, and then I'm going to put this in there to sublimate it. So, uh, we'll see. Let's see. This is the final look. It's gonna go in like this. The thing is you cannot screw it. So what I'm gonna do is a UV resin around there. Like on the inside, I'm gonna put maybe UV resin and see if I can get it to seal that way. I'm thinking resin would be the best option. Nobody told me how to do this, y'all. So I'm just doing it. So we, I'm, use, I'm gonna do it first so you guys won't mess up. So I would say use UV resin. I got my UV resin off Amazon.
So just pour it in like this. It's in the center like that. And I'm gonna put the top on and let it sit there for a second. Okay, so I put it in. Now I just gotta, now keep in mind guys, I haven't done this before. So I'm thinking that I could just do this. I put the, the um, UV resin in it. So what I'm gonna do is do it just put it up to because it's like in there okay everybody so it's a different day um i this is the next day so what i end up doing i have to use the um i had to end up using the resin but i let it sit overnight because i couldn't figure out how to get the um the light to beam inside there to seal it really good so because resin is resin resin do cure but I just let it cure overnight. So my next part about this we're gonna do is put water. Put the this is only water. I don't have to, I didn't feel like looking for no. It's a little baby oil in here. I, I pretty much I see oil because it's from another project I was doing. This I got from like the dollar store, you know, a ketchup mustard dispenser. So I got this from the dollar store for about what one a dollar twenty five. So I'm gonna pour it in here. I'm gonna let you guys see it going in. And we'll see then if it worked as far as the liquid will stay in it. So I'm squeezing the water in there. This ain't not like I said, but water and oil. But it's more water than it's oil. So um, hopefully it act right. Okay, so bam. I hope I didn't put too much water in there. I should have put the oil in it. I mean, the, the glitter first. Cause I just got this little cheap dollar store um, glitter because I just wanted to do the project. So I didn't want to, I didn't feel like going to buy no expensive glitter. And I'm making a mess. I didn't want to buy no expensive glitter. So I'm just going to pour it in here. And I think I should have did it the other way around. I should have because I hope it dispersed right. Let's see how it, how it do. I didn't think, I should have put the glitter in first. I think that's how I usually do it. But let's see. Let's see how it act. And I'm gonna do this. Now I know everybody's not gonna have one of these stoppers, but I got these from some, um, and they, they's old, they barely, they won't even come off the package. So I should have, wait. I'm not ready to stick it on there yet. So I'm just gonna hold it just so I can shake it and get it to move around a little so I can put more in there. And I just did mine backwards. I would advise you to put the glitter in there first and then add the liquid, but I was trying to get it done. And I was gonna put some uh, white in there too. Matter of fact, I still can do it. But I don't know if you guys can see it moving around. It's gonna look cute though. I'm gonna just put a little of this white in there because I just was trying to get like a, a nice contrast. I wouldn't, I would definitely recommend you guys. I was just frantic to get these done and I didn't think about the steps I was taking. So I just want, I just want to get you guys, a, show you guys a finished product. Let me clean off the rim. It's not leaking. So I'm assuming that overnight cure was a good idea because it's not leaking on uh, at the bottom. So now I'm gonna put this stopper on here, but this because I have a stopper. Um, I know all you guys don't have won't have this because I don't even have any more to give away with the cups. So I'm gonna put this stop on here just to stop it and let me try to get it to jiggle a little bit for me. Cause I should have put this the, the glitter in last. I don't know, but it's so cute. It is cute though. I do like it. It's a really messy project, but it I think it's worth it though. I think it's gorgeous. I love the effect. And I'm sure you guys are so creative, creative. You guys are gonna come with some really nice stuff. So my job is a little, little cheesy and um 
maybe not as cute as y'all's gonna be. But I was just trying to get something done. I'm trying to move this glitter around. I wonder if I put enough glitter in there. I think it's enough. I think it's enough to show what I'm trying to do. Oh, and this is the other one that I did a couple of. This was when I had the glass ones. So this one I wanted to show you guys. Like it really can be like this with more glitter. I just didn't put a lot of glitter on mine in mine because I I should have wait. I should have done it. I should have done it later. I should have done the glitter first, and then I will have more glitter like this. But I don't sell these no more because they was broke. I try to stay away from glass now because they break in transit. Either they gonna break before they get here to me or they break in transit to you. So I don't wanna tell you guys how much I had to, how many times I had to refund people because this broke and we were sold out. So I said, I'm, that's when I seen this one, which is acrylic and it don't, it's not, you know, it's not glass so it won't break. I just was like, hey, that'll work, that'll work. So, I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. If you have an easier way to do this, you let me know. Leave it in the comments. Because there's people going to be checking this video out and they're going to want to know. So, if you have another option, let me know. I'm just about to add some more glitter. I just think I need more glitter. So, I shook it around a little, a little bit. So, I'm going to add a, some more glitter. Okay, so the glitter is in here. The top is ready, but I don't feel like the stopper would be enough because I tried to put the stopper in the water. It was still coming out. So what I did was get some tape. I'm going to still put the stopper on there, but I'm also going to tape it like to at least give me some extra protection because it was like still coming out. And I'm like, what's the problem? So I decided to put some tape on it to just cover the hole because the hole, I'm sure it might be another, like I said, if you have another means of sealing this, sealing uh, the globe, let me know, the globe cups, let me know. Cause I know people have done this already. Like I know I'm not the first to do this, but I'm using tape only cause as a double protection, it would not be my only means to stop it. Cause I also gonna use the stopper and I wish I could sell these. I wish I could. I had um, more to send to you guys, but I don't. And I didn't even think to maybe ask them to. Um, I didn't even think to ask them. Do they have any? It's like the tape, and that's probably why it's not stealing. The tape is constantly getting stuck on them. So let me see. I just want this to seal. So I'm using tape. It's like a little janky. It seems like it's janky anyway. So, and then the hole is so close to the edge. So I'll have to put the stopper not in the center because it would not be stopped. So I'm just sealing it down like this to make sure I have a good seal all the way around. So I got that sealed. I'm gonna put some resin on there and try to seal it even better with the resin. So what I wanna do is seal it. And the resin work like this. You put the resin on and then you put it under the light, the UV light. Okay. So I just put the resin all around. Like I said, it's not centered because the hole is right here. The hole is like right on the edge. So if the hole was centered, it would be perfect. But the hole is close to the edge of the uh the, the edge of the cup. So I have to push it over just to make sure it covers the because that's the whole purpose of being on the cup. So, that's the whole purpose of me using the 
the uh, stopper thing. So now this is a, the, the light, the UV light is actually a two to three minute process. So I'm going to probably hold it over here for about two or three, because I don't have the one that will hold over in front of me. So I'm going to hold it for two or three minutes, and then I'll get back with you guys and show you guys the end result. Thank you. Okay, everyone, this is the final project. It's finally done, completed all the way. So we got the UV resin that sealed, sealed the top, which did an excellent job. I would definitely recommend UV resin opposed to like a glue. And then I also did the UV resin at the bottom with the tape uh, as a double protection. I got more, I got, I did find more of the stoppers. So they will be in each and every box because I really think that makes this job easier. So I would recommend that you definitely at the top, go ahead on and uh, let this sit overnight. Let this part sit overnight. Let this part sit overnight because I end up letting it sit overnight, not intentionally, but I did just because I didn't forgot to uh, videotape it yesterday. So um, just want you guys to see the little floaties in there. If I shake it some more, it will uh, some more will fall. I just haven't shook it. It's been sitting still for a whole day. So here is the final result. Of course, I wish I got more glitter in there because I think it'd be a little bit more active than what it is right now. And also, glycerin would also help it move a lot too. I end up using water, and it was like a very little amount of um, oil. So they, glycerin is an also good alternative. I didn't use it because I didn't have it. Um, but I, I do think this was a really nice project. If you want to offer this as to make money, I think you definitely can make money off of these. So I do have it. If you want uh, me to keep this in stock, if I see that it sells good, I will keep it in stock. If not, it'll be a limited item for the Valentine's Day only. Um, so let me know what you guys think. I do need some subscribers, so just go subscribe, please. Greatly appreciate that. Share my video with somebody who you know that's going to um, need it. I definitely appreciate that. Thank you so much. Your views means everything to me. Have a good day.